This video is brought to you by Boombox, the ultimate file storage and collaboration platform for musicians, bands, producers, and other music industry professionals. Stick around to the end of this video to learn more. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I wanna talk a bit about the new internal MIDI routing features in Logic Pro 11. I didn't cover this in my main video because this was more of a minor update, but after reading some of the comments, I can tell this is actually a huge update for a lot of you. What internal MIDI routing does is it allows you to take MIDI data from one instrument track and send it over to another instrument track. Let me show you the basic setup first, and then I wanna show you a feature that I think this is really great for. So I've got an ignition keys track here. This is just a contact instrument. And this is just going through chord trigger and the transposer. And you can use this with or without MIDI effects, but I'm using it with MIDI effects here. What you can do is create a new software instrument track and you know, put whatever instrument you want on this. Maybe I want some piano, and I'll go ahead and use the Concert Grand here. Then what you do is on that new track, you go up to your track inspector and look for the new internal MIDI in option. Click here, go to instrument input, and you'll see all of the instrument tracks in your project. So I'm gonna choose the ignition keys track. And what that means is the MIDI data from this track is going to be routed down onto the Concert Grand. So this is cool because you can have one track control another track. Now, I'm not really using it for this feature. And the reason for that is when I do do this, like if I want to have multiple instruments being controlled by one MIDI region, generally what I'll do is just create a track stack, put the MIDI at the top of the track stack, and then do whatever I want with the instruments inside of the track stack. It's the same thing. And honestly, I think it works a little bit uh, easier that way and a little bit better that way. However, there is one really cool thing that you can do with this. You can print or record your MIDI effects plugins from one channel down to another channel. So this is a question I've gotten a lot, and this I think this is a feature a lot of people have wanted. Back in, I think it was version 10.7, they added the ability to record MIDI to track. You could record your MIDI effects in your MIDI region, but you had to play in the notes you had to actually play in with a, a MIDI controller. There was no way to just have your MIDI effects be printed into a new MIDI region. Well, with this new internal MIDI routing feature, you can now do this. So I'm gonna mute the Concert Grand for now and go back up to the Track Inspector. Again, just make sure that you have the correct track selected. What you can do is you can actually just record to this track and it'll record the MIDI data plus any MIDI effects that are on that track. So let's juice this up even a little bit more. I've already got the chord trigger and the transposer. Let's add the arpeggiator on here. Let's add the note repeater. Let's take the transposer down another octave. And I've got other MIDI effects on here too. There's a modulator, which is essentially randomizing the modulation wheel. So this will print not only the MIDI data, uh, the MIDI notes, it'll actually also print any CCs, any continuous controllers like the modulation wheel as well. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. And now all I have to do is just arm this track for recording and hit R to record. So now I have a sort of baked in version of that MIDI performance with all of those transformative MIDI effects on another track. And I could add the same instrument to this. I could add a different instrument to this. You can do whatever you want to do with this. You can adjust the velocities. Uh, you can change up the notes, so you can essentially treat it like any other complete uh, MIDI performance. Mm -hmm. 
probably not the best example for piano, but for example, if I loaded up another synthesizer on here, I have that whole MIDI performance uh, has been printed down to its individual notes. And again, this also includes your CC data. So if you have the modulation wheel um, affecting anything in the MIDI effects, that will also be printed into the performance as well. And you can see in this sampler instrument, the modulation wheel is being used to control some parameters. Now just make sure that after you record the MIDI down to go into your track inspector and turn off the uh, internal MIDI routing because otherwise it's probably going to send like double notes or you know maybe there's something different over here that you don't want to interpret on this track so just make sure to turn that uh, internal MIDI routing off. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's how you can record your MIDI effects from one track down to another using the new internal MIDI routing in Logic 11. Boombox is a platform made by music creators for music creators. Boombox simplifies music collaboration and puts all of your tools in one place. Say goodbye to the mess of emails and Dropbox links you're used to, and say hello to organized collaboration with secure file storage and helpful feedback tools, like the ability to invite collaborators to your project and have them leave timestamped feedback. And you can upload virtually any type of file. Multitracks, stems, or even full DAW sessions can be uploaded with the Boombox web app or using the Boombox Sync app for Mac OS which allows you to upload files directly from your desktop and skip the middleman. If you're ready to dive into seamless collaboration, join the Boombox community today and get four gigabytes of free storage. You can also get more free storage by referring your friends or upgrade to a paid account for all the storage space you need. So a big thanks to Boombox for sponsoring this video. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.